What's going on, everybody? My name's Travis, and this is. Hashtag Where's Mitch? Yep, what's going on, y'all? Mitch, Mitch ain't here, but we gonna get through it. My name's Travis. Welcome to Candid at the Movies. And today, we're gonna do the movie that Mitch has been dying to see since we first started this channel. He's been wanting to see Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. I know a lot of y'all are probably like, the heck is this? It is a comedy starring Kristen Wiig, Annie Mumlo, and also starring Jamie Dornan, you know, your boy from Fifty Shades of Grey, Mr. Grey, if y'all like stuff like that. They're in this movie, and, you know, if you watch the trailer, just click this up here. Honestly, it's one of those movies that was very throwaway. I can't lie. I didn't hear nobody talk about this movie saying that, oh, this is something I gotta see. Like, no one talked about this movie, but... Weirdly enough, it's gotten great reviews. It's almost at like 80% on Rotten Tomatoes. And honestly, if you watch the trailer, you're just thinking it's about these two best friends that are in their 40s that go to Visa Del Mar and hijinks ensue. I wish that's what the movie was about. It's basically about these two women that go to Florida, as I said, have fun on vacation. And all while this is going on, Basically, there's an evil henchwoman out here ready to destroy Visa Del Mar with good old killing mosquitoes. Killing mosquitoes. It's not April Fool's. That's, that's actually what happens in the plot. That's the first five minutes of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> it's beyond, it's out there. It's nothing that I thought this movie was going to be about. I thought it was just going to be a raunchy movie about women having fun out here on a trip. No, no, it's not a girl's trip, no. This is bring out some whole nother level stuff you're not gonna be prepared for. Is it going to be as raunchy as like a 40 year old version? No way, this movie's PG-13, but it goes there and it has some stuff that you're just gonna be like, wait a minute, they said what? They're doing what? It's beyond out there, it's crazy. And weirdly, one of the funniest movies I've watched this year. I wish I was lying to you. <laughs> it was so much stuff going on to where, like, the movie's under hour of under an hour forty minutes, but you're so you're so distraught by what's going on, you just keep watching. Will this get, this might get a cult following? I can't lie. It just depends on what type of humor people like and if people check this out. Kristen, <coughs> Kristen Wiig and Annie Mumlo. They were hilarious together in all their randomness that they kept doing. The random musical numbers were hilarious. And honestly, Jamie Dorn, who y'all know, like, basically is Christian Grey, very emotionless. But in this movie, this guy was hilarious. He was saying some funny stuff. He had a musical number that was like four minutes long that was hilarious all the way through. And you'll just be sitting back just like, what is going on? It's almost like a little fever dream, which is, it's funny. You'll sit back and you'll just be like, I don't know what I watched, but I was entertained by it. Damon Wayans Jr. is in this movie, which, if you like Damon Wayans Jr., you know the type of comedy you're going to get and he fits. Weirdly enough, it felt like you were watching his dad do a lot of the comedy bits that he was doing. It overall worked. A lot of great music in the movie, which it just, it flowed well with the type of movie that you're watching. And also, it's beautiful to look at. Like, it made me want to go to Vista Del Mar and, and go to this hotel. Like, well lit, beautiful to look at. Overall, just a trip of a movie. Me and one of my friends watched it the other day and we were just both looking at each other like, what is going on? but I want to keep watching. This is hilarious. Overall, I would give this movie 
a solid B. You can watch it with friends, family. You'll all laugh. Even got cameos you wouldn't expect the people to be in this movie. Even the cast that's in the background. It's a lot of people that you know. People from The Office. People from Saturday Night Live. And you'll just sit back and laugh. Like, I, I can't give this movie enough praise for what it was from what the trailers gave me. It soared above that. So, by all means, have you watched Barbara Star go to Visa Del Mar? Let me know if you are thinking of checking this out. It's different, I know. <laughs> by all means, let me know what you feel about this movie. Would you check it out? Have a good one. Stay blessed.